I was in radio when I was 11 years old, so all through high school, I was an afternoon disc jockey, and I got to interview people like Johnny Cash and Eddie Arnold, Bill Anderson. I interviewed your dad. George Hamilton IV. I did. Did you play some of my records? I did play some of your records. You couldn't have. I did. You did? Yeah, on MTM. Wow. wow. Yeah. That takes me back. You know, I look like I'm 15, but I'm actually 29. <laughs> But no, just getting to know so many of the legends of country music, that's been really the highlight for me. And, and what has really been a treat for Candy and I in the past couple of years is getting to tour and, and travel all over the country with this next gentleman that you're about to introduce. I mean, we're talking legendary in this business. I mean, he has done it all. I mean, Grammy winner, uh, CMA winner, uh, gosh, ACM winner. You know, written songs for people like Waylon Jennings, Johnny Cash, uh, Marty Robbins. The, the list just goes on and on. And and now on. his name is in chalk outside of history. I know. Andy. I know. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I mean, this guy really groundbreaker. He and his brothers. I mean, they you know had an amazing publishing company, booking company, studio system that just Jubilee Central I changed Nashville. Changed. The whole outlaw movement pretty yes. much happened at their studio. Absolutely. And actually, there's a brand new documentary that's just been released this past week on the Glazer Brothers. Do you want to introduce him? I think I'll let you because I get nervous. Well, this guy, he just filmed Larry's Country Diner last week. He just did the Grand Ole Opry again. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Glazer. it is to be here you know some of us old people are kind of uh, dumb like me didn't even know this was going on and when I was asked to come out here and, and do this they said it's at a hardware store and I don't need to tell you what my brain was trying to make out of that I'll be standing out in front of this store in the sun saying, this is great how nice to see y'all having a good time oh, yeah. am I supposed to sing a song yes. I hope so I want to sing you a song that uh, somebody told me Gary Puckett was in town, and I wrote a song, uh, and my good friend Jimmy Payne helped me finish the song, this was back in the 60s, that uh, Gary Puckett and the Union Gap had a hit record with, it was their first record. Have I got just a second? Yeah. Uh, I was down at the Opry one Saturday night back in the 60s, and Mel Tillis came into one of the little dressing rooms and asked me if I'd listen to a song he'd just written, and I said, sure, and he sang so happy he sang ruby don't take your love to town and when i got up off the floor it's just the greatest song i'd ever heard or imagined this was 1967 and on the way home i pulled over and decided to write a song about a guy who thought his woman was cheating on him but instead of calling her a name like he did ruby i was just going to call her woman and i also knew that i wouldn't use the word contemplating in the song <laughs> as he did ruby are you contemplating how wonderful does that work i never would have dreamed of it <laughs> anyway here's the song i wrote for gary and jimmy Payne out there <laughs> Something's wrong between us that your laughter cannot hide And you're afraid to let your eyes meet mine And lately when I love you I know you're not sad
But it's snowing night Y'all are looking back That's really killing me to have to say but that book 